Welcome everybody, Eugene Hughes Motorized. Okay, I know a lot of people have cussed and complained about the hardware on these little engine kits we get here, and a lot of it is indeed warranted. Take a look at this right here. Okay, number one, acorn nut. Those things are trash. If you have a properly sized stud that you're putting it onto, it's okay. Look at what they did in the factory. They doubled up. They put two lock washers on this intake here in order to close the distance so you could tighten up the acorn nut. If they would have put the correct size stud in, the acorn nut would be okay or just put an open-ended nut. And I got a solution for you here. Okay, and sometimes you're going to run into problems here with the cylinder head. In the factory, they just grab a stud, okay? They buy the studs all the time. If they buy a stud that's way too long, is what they'll do is they're using the acorn nut, and the acorn nut bottoms out, which this one here will. Okay, that's bottom out. You see that gap there? There's a big gap. What they'll do is they'll just stack lock washers on it, okay? That's not the correct way to do it, all right? Here's a little solution that I've come up with. I love to use what they call the high hex nuts on some of the applications. Whenever I can get some of these in the kits, I like to use them on the intake and on the exhaust, but and as well on the engine mount. Okay, but they don't sell those high hex nuts. Let's improve upon that concept. The, the cool thing about the high hex nut is you have more surface area grabbing onto your stud and you get a better grip with it, okay? Let's go with these coupler nuts. Let me show you what we can do here. So take your acorn nuts, throw them in the trash. I recommend you go with this here, okay? These here are coupler nuts, all right? And these here are six millimeter by 18 millimeter, and these are eight millimeter by 24 millimeter. I recommend you use these here on the intake, on the exhaust, this here on the cylinder head, and as well, if you've got any of the, uh, the studs for the mount, go with these here. The trick with this here is the longer the nut, the more surface contact you've got with your stud and the better grip you're going to get here, okay? Doesn't mean you need to over tighten it. You need to do it right before you get it tight. Just don't crank on it and get it super tight. Get things to fit right and go with that. Like I said, you can go to the hardware store. If you can find these Belleville or spring washers, okay, and use these on the cylinder head, and if you can find the metric coupler nuts, go ahead and do it. If not, I'll be happy to sell this to you here, all right? So we've got what I'd sell in a kit now is you get five of the Belleville washers. That way, one for each of the four cylinder head studs and one of the Belleville washers in case you drop it. Ten of the six millimeter by 18 millimeter coupler nuts, 10 of the eight millimeter by 24 millimeter coupler nuts. Okay, so I'm gonna give you extra. The reason why I'm giving you 10 of these here is you'll have extras here for your engine mounts here on the front and the back, depending upon whether it's eight millimeter or six millimeter, you'll have extras to handle it here, okay? Um, I include two of the aluminum cylinder head gaskets and two of the cylinder base gaskets. You can get this stuff here on your own, but if you can't find it or you don't want to find it, you want to do it, get it from me, you can order down below. You go to HughesMotorized.com and just simply search for upgraded hardware and it'll come up or check the link in the description. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Y'all take care now. Bye.